What's up everybody, Shane Kirk here at Warrior FC for Fight Storm Media, standing alongside SVG Charleston, I'm head coach, Irish mm -hmm. MMA legend, <laughs> and just all around good guy already. Cheers, oh, thanks for taking us on this guys. On four guys on to me, yeah. four fantastic performances. Yeah, yeah, boys doing fantastic. What do you even say about the gym? Or yeah. what exactly are you doing in your gym to be getting performances like that? Yeah, but the boys, yeah, the boys are working very hard. Um, uh, we've got a lot of small guys, um, got a good new group together, and they're all so competitive, they're all, they're all trying to fucking kill each other, so it, 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 um, it builds everybody up and, and they went in and performed really well tonight. So. Especially having four guys competing on the same show, yeah. obviously they would have been helping. They're all trying to get up there, coming along. Um, um, the transition from yourself as a fighter to coach has been flawless. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that, but no, it's, like, yeah. like, you're obviously getting great results. Like, yeah. How has that been for you personally as a journey from fighter to coach? Um, oh, I mean, I've always, I've always coached for John. Um, I've always been the, uh, the kids coach, so I've been coaching for the past 10 years. Um, and uh, I enjoy coaching, I'm patient, so I, I, um, and, and I'm getting good results. So yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's been okay. It has it ups and downs as well, but for the most part it's been okay. Yeah. And as I'm ready to coach when you do you the shows, do you still get that itch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah, every time. Like, until, until like, I went and sparred with my lads and they punched the face <laughs> off. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, every show, every time I'm at a show, every show like this, I always feel like, oh, I'd love to get in and do it again. But um, yeah, time passes and, and you just gotta live with what you have now. I've got a bunch of killers and I, I get my, my kicks out of watching them for you. And in terms of when you were a fighter, I mean, the opportunities presented to fighters, like only three weeks ago you walked day forward you as an amateur fighter into the tree arena. I know, yeah. And, and I'm sure in your days, yeah. you would have loved him. Ah, oh, I and know. Just in terms of you as the fighter and as we are now, you were there with, on the MMA scene before it was cool, so to speak, before mm -hmm. was. What has that been like Yeah, it's, it's, it's great to see um, the, the advancement in, in, in MMA now. Uh, it's, it's a lot more mainstream, as you say, the amateurs get to fight in the tree arena. Like, I fought, I fought in the ringside club in front of 50 people, and it was main event, and it was like, it was all over, it was all over the country. Like, that it was in the MMA, we're all talking about yeah. it. Now, you know, it's everywhere. But it's great, it's great for the sport, and people are coming around to it, and they see what, 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 what goes into a fight, what a fight puts in to actually go win and perform, even at the amateur level, you know, so, uh, yeah, they're getting their credit they deserve as well. And just, obviously, as a Conor McGregor Australian coach, you've yeah. seen Harold Floyd in New York. Yeah. Can you just get your opinion on Conor versus Eddie Alvarez as a matchup as a whole and how you see that play coming down? Yeah, obviously Eddie is a great fighter and so for the bad body, you know, for me, I honestly believe that he is very similar to the bad fighters in basketball. Heavy hands, not like clean enough, like cleaner than most, but not as clean as Conor. And um, yeah, but he's going to come in and look the rest of so, We fought that type of thing before, so we're well capable of coming up with a good game plan to, uh, to, to put him away, I think. Before we let you go, can you give us a prediction for that fight? Yeah, I, like, like I always, I always see him maybe late in the first, maybe in the second. To win the world champion. Yeah, once Conor puts hands on you, and that's the way he can land. It's, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, man. So, listen, I'm very much there.